sure, lovely. Nice and beautiful, right? Okay, we have our drop off from there, drops 20 feet. And of course that is This is mainly our painting here. Almost triangular, right? Coming back a little bit there, huh? But everything's kind of uh, confused. I'm not seeing any specific uh, real, real lines today here, this morning. Good morning. Here we are on a lovely December 25th and it is a holiday morning and have a wonderful holiday. We're going into the city, have a little fun. But while we're sitting here, a little early waiting, we also wanted to uh, explain those pictures and what I meant by the begin. Those two pictures are the very first actual, I guess, uh, piece of artwork that, um, that got me started. This was uh, six months ago I had gotten a phone. With the phone came a little tablet. Uh, electronic tablet and this tablet had a, a drawing application to it so I uh, started just uh, drawing and uh, that's what I made and I consider that to be uh, like my psychology like spilling my psychology out on this uh, tablet if a psychologist were to look at that picture he'd look at it and say hmm <laughs> you know he'd be able to he'd know my mind a little bit and perhaps could help Chantel so I look at it and I'm like gee there's something there and and then I just, that's where it started. And then I started, there was a couple pictures in the picture, which have yet to be seen. Um, and I found other pictures to be framed again in the pictures and I just, I just uh, somehow one thing led to another and I started to really study uh, that art right away. I just was like, well, look what I drew. I'm, I'm an artist, you know. <laughs> so. And, you know, I have been, you know, doodling and doing art, everything, you know, since I'm a child. But, um, so that was the first piece that even caught my attention and made me even think for a second, you know, you know, you can do this. Art is something you can do. And it just, uh, I guess I couldn't find the words. I thought I'd be able to find better words for this, but it, uh, it's hard to explain. And we just uh, found each other. And again, this was the first piece. And... Um, so to me, that is the self-portrait. That is my psychology spilled out all over the the tablet there. So we go forward, waiting for a train. Have some coffee. And here we are, we have made it into the big city. And it's very quiet for a holiday morning, a little surprise. But if you notice the, uh, the picture there, chill city, to me that's uh, the city that represents, you know, disappearing into the city. Where else can you disappear but amongst uh, thousands of people? So in my 20s, I used to come here in my wandering days and just uh, wander through the city. And if you notice, some of the lines on the picture, they interact directly with the character itself. The uh, street lines moving into the uh, shoulder and in the hat, and that again, the colors, 
seem to uh, blend in our characters, same picture as the city around them. And uh, again, that's disappearing into the city. And when you're wandering around in your 20s, in a very big depression, and that used to be my main, that used to be what I did much of the time. The city is certainly a much more relaxed, but art is everywhere. Let's go find some. And again, these streets are empty. You know, pretty much by myself out here. Very unusual. That's what you get holiday morning in the city. And you know, art, every building here is a piece of art. The city is so big that somebody could design a building and, you know, strive to have that building be chosen, his design, to build the building. They'll choose the building, they'll build that building. The building will win all sorts of, sorts of awards. 50 years later, they'll tear down the building, maybe build another one. And you know, the, build, the city is so big that you may never even see that building. There are so many giant buildings that it's, you know, more often than you'd be realized, you'd see a building, you'd be like, gee, how long has that been there? I've never seen that before. And all with wonderful designs. Some of the buildings here are very much like squares where people live, but office buildings and things. They're very, very, some of these are very complicated, very extreme structures. And again, you could go years and years and never even see. Here we go. This is Park Avenue. Park Avenue is empty. Except for me and one taxi. Get some coffee.